Hi, I'm Sue Shapcott in Madison, Wisconsin, and today we're going to talk about the science behind not choking when you putt. Okay, so there's some fantastic research that is going to give you strategies to deal with these four, five, six foot putts that you need to make to either win the match, um, save your score on a hole, or to win the hole. And the strategies are probably not what you think. Okay, so the one thing that you need to do when you're putting uh, under pressure is to try and distract your mind. Now that may sound counterintuitive, but it's what you need to do. So that means if you're standing over a putt that you need to make, instead of thinking about how important the putt is or what it means, what you need to be thinking about is something completely different. So that could be your favorite pizza. It could be counting to three. It could be thinking about what you're gonna have for dinner that night. It could be thinking about anything other than the putt that you're gonna make. And the reason is, we need to be working on automatic mode. And when things get stressful, when you have a putt that is important to you, then we start to over monitor what it is that we're trying to do. So when you've got an important putt or even an important shot, then the thing to do is to, is to distract your mind. Think about something completely different. If you're interested in reading more about this research, check out the work by Cianne Baylock. She has a fantastic book called Choke. I will put that uh, in the description of this video. And it is full of great strategies to distract yourself under pressure, but also a bit of background um, on the science behind performing under pressure that you might find interesting and might help you understand why when a putt becomes important, it really kind of sets off your nerves a little bit. Okay, I hope that strategy helps you. Please check out some of our other videos and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.